Hello, this is Yellow Hobo, and today we are looking at Age of Empires 4. I uh, told you I was going to be putting out a video on the 28th of the campaign mode, and we are putting that video out. So you get levels from doing these events and stuff like that, so we like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into the vi today's video. Some events leave a deep mark on history, but none on the land. This is the site of the Battle of Hastings. After almost a thousand years, no traces of the bloody conflict can be seen. But here, the fate of that England turned. It's where a king was killed, and his victor claimed the throne. October 14th, 1066. We know what happened here on this day, thanks to this. The Bayer Tapestry. A carefully preserved illustrated record of events. It shows the main players. Harold, the newly crowned Anglo-Saxon King of England. And his challenger, William. Duke of Normandy. William claimed the previous king had promised him the crown. So, he assembled an army and prepared to sail to England to fight King Harold for the throne. But a storm thwarted his plans. Meanwhile, Harold discovered that a Viking invasion had landed in the north another threat to his crown so he raced to fight them in france william waited for the right conditions to sail across the channel to england the weather cleared he seized his chance Two hundred and fifty miles north, Harold had defeated the Vikings. Now, hearing of William's arrival, his army sped south. At nine o'clock in the morning, on this hill, William's Norman army were ready to do battle with Harold's Anglo-Saxon men. The stage was set, and up for grabs, England itself. That was pretty cool. I don't know much y'all, but I like history. <laughs> uh, let's see how long it takes for the loading screen. So whenever initially when you start off, it's, it takes you through a pretty, uh, like it, it lets you pretty much do battle tutorials and basic building up your settlement. But it don't, like whenever you do it, <laughs> you gotta be patient with the game. So, yeah, you would first have to kill their king. Sitting like kill, 1066. On October 14th, 1066, William of Normandy stood ready for battle at the base of a hill. The high ground belonged to King Harold of England and his Anglo-Saxon army. Here, on this hilltop, the fate of England would be decided. So what we do, just just kill, kill, kill. <laughs> so this is our king. Does he get anything extra here? Okay. Oh, they're, they're all charging, huh? William's Norman army made the first charge, launching a direct assault on the shield wall. 
Okay. Oh, I guess I can't even Though use William's that. army fought fiercely against oh, no. the shield Listen wall, it would not yield. As one man fell, another took his place. Overlapping shields in tight formation made for a near impenetrable barrier. Realizing his army could not break the shield wall, William called for a retreat. He aimed to lure the Anglo-Saxons into a false sense of victory, causing them to break formation. William's feigned retreat was working. The Anglo-Saxon army broke their shield wall formation, leaving gaps for William to make a move. Nice. <laughs> so it has some kind of a. With Harold's men no longer in shield wall formation, William could pick them off as they charged. I don't know about picking them off. This one's still strong. The Anglo-Saxons had deployed rows of spearmen to push back the invaders, but William had an answer. His sharp-eyed archers. More Norman men-at-arms reinforced William's army. Scroll up more. Might need to go up to actual. Beat up. Anglo Saxon archers joined the fray, and the Normans' deadly cavalry ready to charge. But first, William's forces had to eliminate the enemy spearmen, whose sturdy pole arms could easily bring down a horse. Additional Norman archers joined the battle. The push on these are rough. With the threat of spearmen cleared from the field, William's cavalry was free to charge at the Anglo-Saxon archers. Saxon army was in disarray. Their shield wall had been neutralized and their numbers were dwindling. Now the only thing standing between William and victory was King Harold himself. Yes, 
The last of Harold's men encircled their king, prepared to lay down their lives to save his. More Norman cavalrymen took to the field. The Anglo-Saxon King Harold had fallen. In the confusion, some loyal soldiers fought to the death, while others scattered in panic. Okay. Just a straight up <laughs> war scenario. Leaderless and defeated, the last of the Anglo Saxon army fled for their lives. The Normans celebrated victory over the English king, but William's quest to rule England was just beginning. Yeah, and these, uh, you can't skip the uh, victory screens that I know of. I haven't been able to just hit escape or anything. How are we level six already? <laughs> and what does that mean? <laughs> okay. Oh, and you can rewatch the cinematics and stuff like that? Oh, no, these are unlocked content. Cool. At the Battle of Hastings, the death of one man changed the course of history. The Anglo-Saxon King Harold was killed here, on England's south coast. His army defeated by William of Normandy. Anglo-Saxon rule was over forever. At Westminster Abbey on Christmas Day 1066, William was crowned the first Norman King of England. Now he had to secure power across the country. He began by stamping his mark on the landscape, building cathedrals and castles at strategic locations. Nothing like them had been seen in England before. They reminded the Anglo-Saxon population exactly who was in charge. Not all were content with living under Norman rule. Anglo-Saxon revolts broke out across the country. King William acted quickly to crush these rebellions. But there was one region where dissent was spiraling out of control. The north of England. In 1069, a group of lords from Northumbria formed an alliance with Viking invaders. Together, they approached Norman-held York. A large city with an important cathedral, still protected by ancient Roman walls. But the walls couldn't save York. The city and the castle fell to the rebels. William's new kingdom was under threat. He had to get the city back under Norman control. William had no choice but to order his men north. But as the Norman forces set off on their long march towards York, how much resistance from the rebels would they encounter? So King William's army faced an uncertain ma march to York fraught with resistance from those opposed to Norman rule. So only three years later, and he's already having problems. And this goes all the way up to 1217. Huh. Come on, loading screen. Capture a town, you must defeat all enemy forces within the red circle marker. Okay, so it's kind of like capture the flag almost. Some enemies request resources in order to stop their attacks. Whether you attack them, pay them, or ignore them is entirely up to you. 
Always build up your forces even if you start with a lot of units. Sounds good. Probably good good advice there. Ooh, look at our army. William the Conqueror marched north with his army of Normans determined to take back the rebel-held city of York. But in his path stood rebel towns that harbored William's northern enemies. Guess we're gonna have to slaughter our way. the towns back by force. All right. So you see the little roadway. Gonna have to. Uh... Ensala. Cavallo. I guess we'll scout. Si. Trail est de Besoigne. Avant, compagnon. Mandes. Vado. And their scout just ran off. Escolto. Vici. Soyez prêts, votre yets, pose à moi. I like the formation here, Kevin. Si comme vos voldrais, je cours au tis. Voyons la nuit, en vostre service. A l'arçon, chevalier! So we got some spears and we got some, uh, horses. <laughs> Tous sont prêts! Kill the archers. Minimum losses is what we want. Let them chase this guy down. The Normans captured the town of Middlethorpe, establishing their presence in the north. With reinforcements to his army soon arriving, William would need more resources to supply them. Can we just take over these? Escolto. Si, la bourgeoisie. La bourgeoisie la terre. Mais. Escolte bene. Do I even have wood? Even close? Letard yes, colones. All right. So, gotta build a lumber camp over here. Go ahead and get some of these going. Attendez, les commandes, je commande avant. Fait la bourre. Okay. Mendes Cavallo. Get these going. Oh, no, no, no. Vado. Access met fa fertisets, vostre courage. Spero. Masono. Get this built up. We'll fight right here. See what's going on. Oh, I mean, we, they, it, it wants us to. So we got to build up four four additional farms. Okay, I wanted four additionals. Got gotcha. you. And then five villagers to chop wood. Got three doing that right now. Let's just go ahead and do this. Edifico. Eh, probably not that many. Y'all go to that tree. They were fighting this tree stump right now. And then we can build houses. I know it says build two, but we're building three. Okay. Oh, it's the scout. Got you. And they do build faster, it seems like, at least. Little deer. The Norman army was now well supplied by a town, but it would take a sustained effort to keep the army at full strength. Got reinforcements somewhere. I know it's probably gonna want me to make a. Another rebel town, Fulford, stood in defiance to William's rule. Capture Fulford. Oh gosh. Attention. In avant. 
I like how they do a military like <laughs> formation. I wish I could age up though. Guess let's go take this over. <laughs> Just getting swarmed and stabbed by a stick to death. And, you know, that'd be the way to go, huh? So, should we take the side road in or the main road? Get off now, I'm gonna go get these bad boys. Just giving them attack moves right now. Just shredding all of our horses, man. With the Fulford rebels eliminated, William was one step closer to York. Build up support for the army. Knowing he would face strong resistance in the city, William prepared to bolster his cavalry. Gather food and gold. Okay, gold's right here. It's a mining camp we already get, okay. Ooh, a landmark, so we can actually heal. Put this landmark right here, Hannah Stable. Yes, give me, give me all the gold. So this landmark, we're gonna put it. Hills all nearby. I want the hill. Uh, right here. Just so we can heal our, heal our good dude up. I'm waiting on this third one to come out and then we'll build a stable. Because we need it anyways. We lost too many horsemen. See. Oh yeah, needs age too. Gotcha. Never mind, you, you, you go and go build here too. <laughs> this one's taking for taking a little bit. I do like how they changed up the uh the aging up instead of like you know, you just click on your town center and hey you wanna age up. You actually have a separate building, you know. Look at these little animations and stuff. They did a really good job on the details right here. Got some old school scaffolding going on right now. The Norman army came under attack from a new enemy, the Danes. William's army held back the Danes' attack, but they threatened to return unless William paid them in gold. Got that built up, fought all these things. This building heals, so that's just clutch for us right there. I'd rather have a build in the hills than produce his archers faster. <laughs> 
Send gold tribute to the Danes or destroy the Dane camp. I think we're gonna go with a destroy the Dane camp. We want more archers. <laughs> what is this building? It's a house. It's got like a nice little outside there. Complete a palisade to defend. Okay. Cool. Palisade, palisade, pa put a gate on that now. Ah. Okay, cool. That's how that works. Let's go ahead and stretch it across here then. Put the gate like this. Right on the road. Satisfying. On hindsight, I probably shouldn't have built this here. <laughs> uh, but we'll work around it. Like, Access some of them were really hurt. <laughs> Alright, so let's do another outpost right here. I want this side defended, since that's where they're coming from anyways. Whoa! I got more reinforcements? Avant! <laughs> Companion. Kill them. All right, you gotta go take out these Danes. Had enough of them already. Alright, y'all three continue your build. There's a berry bush. The Normans discovered the source of the Dane threat. An outpost on the water. William had a choice. Bypass the encampment. Destroy it, or pay the Danes the gold they demanded. Thomas on ordinance. For your service. Alarson Chevalier. Doesn't seem like it's going to be holding up much longer for y'all. We're about to have even more. Sagita in Apo, Timondes, Diligant. Toots Odite. Vido Osi. All right, cool. Three in there, three in here. Parate Arkers. Somebody got this taken care of. I want to attack the building. Wouldn't let me attack the gate, so. We'll just take the Dane camp over. Oh, we got gold and stuff too, huh? Thanks, Danes. I need that gold. In destroying the Dane outpost, William stripped the rebels of a crucial ally. Stop those Danes. Like, can we attack this one? Okay. William's ultimate goal was it. within his grasp. All that remained was to enter York and destroy its keep. 
Wait, you see, uh, we're gonna go heal up real quick. <laughs> then, then we'll get on it. Build a barracks. Y'all getting healed up yet? Act on this less commandments. Just squeeze on through, boys. Top fit, I know. That's what we like to see, though. Getting built up. Yeah, we're just on a food struggle. All right, this is all healed up. Let's go. Let's go wreck them. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're gonna attack from the north. Don't kill these villagers! Poor little villagers. Y'all wanted to raid me. Now I'm back to this. I think we're ready for this. This is gonna go fast. <laughs> Arrows do some kind of damage on it, but uh. Alright, well, taking horsemen against spearmen. It's not. What are we burning over here? I'm making short work of this gate. The Norman army poured into York and began sacking the town as they bore down on the keep. Attack the archers that are hitting you. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, they didn't attack the archer at all. Thomas on ordinance! Thomas on ordinance! Your key, huh? Chibarier! Rest up here! Chibarier! I just choose this. Do something. It don't take long whenever you got hundreds of people throwing stuff at it. <laughs> the keep fell to the Norman army, and York was secured. The Northern Rebellion was over, and William the Conqueror was uncontested as King of England. Victory! Alright, level 8 already. <laughs> I think... We're going to call it today for this series. I might have another video come out of us. Uh, all right. It's a, uh, it's, it's thinking about it. I might have another video that comes out that it'll be, it'll be like just playing on not single player, but multiplayer with my little brother. Yeah. Hope everybody enjoyed the video and have a good day, everybody. Hello, this is Yellow Hobo. And today we are looking at Age of Empires 4. I told you I was going to be putting out a video on the 28th of the campaign mode and 